Hi, welcome back to another session of Air Engine Research. Uh, I'm going to be going back over the history of what I've done since I started trying to make a, an air motor. And today I'm going to go back to 2006 where I had a two-cylinder opposed motor that I was trying to to make. It was one of my, actually it was probably my first one. And it, it pretty funny so it possibly be considered for the funniest home videos I'm not sure but anyway uh, it had a lot of parts that I had to try to make and figure out what I could do to to make something turn around and use cylinders to push it so I ended up making a couple of clutches and tried some various things with chains and I had to make uh, some cylinder stands I guess to hold it so they go back and forth I had to figure out some kind of valves and that all took a while and eventually I did finally get it to work so it and when I did get finished with it I had a little So on that particular one, I, I ended up having something going back and forth, which using two clutches, one for reverse and one for forward, I managed to make the, the, the drive thing turn in one direction and pretty much uh, continuous. Uh, and for the next 10 years, I've been working on various things and the valves in most cases were the, the most problems and I just couldn't get them to stop leaking until just recently I figured out how I could do that. Uh, but then my next uh, one that I was thinking about was uh, going away from the uh, back and forth to some sort of a like a drive shaft or crankshaft or something and this one I used Two, two cylinders again but then I ended up having to come up with some different valve arrangements and figured out another way to mount it and you can see the valve thing on the center back there was pretty elaborate and the timing was not very accurate but it did run and it could have possibly been something that that could use but I just didn't like that. So after that one, I just worked around trying to figure out some way to make it better and not so bulky and that would be more compact and about two years later I finally come down with something that I thought might work so I 
went ahead and come up with this and thought I would try something using this arrangement. This one, uh, it doesn't push on the center part. It has two cylinders and it also uh, operates from the outside, pushing around the outside of the ring. And again, I went to a different type of a valve again, so that one worked pretty good. So, as you saw, that one worked and probably was, was more practical than that second one that I tried to make. Uh, in that one, I had to come up, like I said, with another valve arrangement. I used a, a round piston like and uh, had ports on it that allowed the air to go in and out when, when it was supposed to. And on that one, the timing could was a little easier because I could change it without a whole lot of effort. Well, that was my three for this session, so hopefully you enjoyed watching it. I always enjoyed working on these things, even if they weren't very practical. And in the end, I decided that they were, were not something that I could use. So, until next time, I hope you enjoyed it, and look back if you please.